What's up guys, welcome back to another Overwatch video. So, I've been seeing and hearing a lot about Mercy lately. People are saying she's become a problem after the last patch. Is that really true though? Eh, I'm not really convinced. So here's what they did in case you didn't know. They gave her heal beam a 20% increase, so this allows her to obviously heal faster and more, and in turn this makes her gain alt faster, so she can res more often. This is where people seem to be having problems. Mercy's res is being called overpowered, whereas before the pad it took way too long to come up. There's also the fact that she's popping up a lot more since she's back in the meta, so there are mud more reses going around, and she's been picking up a lot of play of the games. Now, is this really all a problem? Well, Mercy herself is not, and I'll explain why in a second. As for her picking up a lot more play of the games, well, that's kind of a problem, but not really with Mercy herself. It's more so a problem with the play of the game system, which has always had problems since day one. There are really a lot of things that they could do to play the game system to make it a lot better. I don't really think Mercy should ever pick up a play of the game for a two-man res. Three-man, yes, but only really if her team lives and comes back because of it, and she's dishing out a lot of healing like after it or before it or whatever. And 4 or 5 should totally always get it, because that's a lot of revives, and those are always really cool to see. I'm not really going to go into the play of the game thing any further, so let's talk about Mercy herself. She isn't overpowered by any means. People like complaining about things, and that's never going to stop. Let's take a look at why she's risen so much, though. Obviously, the buff did a lot of it, but there are other contributing factors here as well, like the Lucio and Zen nerfs. Knocking down the two top tier supports and buffing Mercy considerably is of course going to lead to her being the go-to choice. Lucio's speed boost was nerfed because he was picked too much, but with two supports being the meta, of course people are going to pick the two best supports in him and Zen. The best thing to do was to buff Mercy and not nerf Lucio. Zen, yeah, because his orb was too good, but he's still really good right now. This would have led to there being three good choices for supports instead of just two, because no one is going to pick Symmetra, and the nature of Ana is normally always going to make her inferior to healing that doesn't require any aiming. There's also the Genji nerf. His ability to be a backline assassin was hit pretty hard with the nerf to his combo. He can't really get in, burst down somebody quickly, and get out. It takes a little bit more time now, so it's a lot easier for Mercy to be protected from him. Tracer can still do it, but nerfing Genji definitely limited the options here. I've heard complaints that Mercy is too easy as well, which is really, really ridiculous. I know some good Mercies. I've played a lot of competitive matches with a really good Mercy, and she knows what she's doing. It's not something that's just easy that anyone can go ahead and do. A good Mercy requires good positioning, quick decisions, and a good team that both protects her and stays spread out enough to give her multiple escape routes with her glide. A Mercy is really only as good as her team. If her team isn't supplying her with those two things, then she's a fish out of water. People have been saying that it's too easy for her to just hide somewhere close by and res from safety, and yes, I've seen Mercies do this a lot, both before and after the patch, but only because teams don't take the necessary steps to take her out. If she's dead, then she can't res, and her team will fall apart. Supports are important targets. They are always things that you need to go out and take out first. This has always, always been a thing. Now, like I said before, backline assassins can take her out rather easily as long as her team's attention is taken elsewhere so they can't protect her. If Tracer and Gendli are getting behind the enemy while they're distracted, Mercy is not going to be able to protect herself from them. Gendli may have gotten his burst capabilities nerfed, but he can still definitely get back there and take her out. Farah can also take her out well two from the sky and all, but I don't really count her because of how common McCree is and poor Farrah gets oh so bullied by that mean old cowboy. So there are ways to deal with her, it's just that it takes a bit of work and coordination so a lot of people instantly come to the conclusion that she's a problem. I can't really agree with her being OP at all. Mercies and their teams need to be doing things right to keep her alive and healing consistently and even when they are, there are steps that can be taken to take her out anyway, like I said. if anything, instead of nerfing her back down into non-existence, Blizzard should bring the supports up and give Gendli his burst combo back. Symmetra is horribly underused, Lucio could use the speed boost back, 
Zen's still pretty up there, and Ana, well, I'm not too sure, actually, Ana actually isn't a pretty good spot, it's just the whole having to aim to heal thing is kind of messing it up, but if you land all your shots and you're really good on it, then you're getting a lot of healing out of it, so you're up there if you're good with her, but again, the whole aim to heal thing is what's bringing her down in most people's eyes. Anyway, guys, that's my two cents. What do you think? Do you think Mercy is a problem? Do you think people are just having knee-jerk reactions to her buff? Let me know in the comments below. I want to thank you all for watching. I very much appreciate it, and I'm going to see you guys later. Bye. Did you come to say goodbye?